All right, coming in hot with a little TRS tech tip for all the retrofitters out there. What in the world is bi-xenon or bi -LED and how does it work? All right, so let's talk about the bi-xenon first, since of course it was the technology that preceded bi-LED, like this MLED projector from Morimoto here. Now this is a Lexus RX350 bi-xenon projector. It's an OEM projector that's found in a lot of different Lexus and Toyota applications. Um, it was known to be one of the better bi-xenon projectors in its heyday. And the question is, how does the thing work, okay? So bi-xenon projectors work by having a fixed HID bulb right there in the reflector bowl that sits there in the back. It's a D2S or D4S in this case. And that bulb does not produce any more or less light output regardless of if you're in low or high beam mode. So when you hear bi-xenon or bi-LED, it's not the bulb that's doing anything at all. It's actually the projector, which is the fixture that the bulb sits in. And so there's a little shield or a flap, whatever you want to call it, right there in the middle of the projector. We'll show you a little close up on that. That moves out of the way to expose more light for your high beam when you pull that stock back inside your car. Now that shield is activated by a solenoid, which is basically an electromagnet on the bottom of the projector, could be sitting in a different place depending on what projector you've got, that pushes the shield or pulls the shield out of the way to expose that light and change the beam pattern that is projected out of the lens. Um, and so again, when you're in high beam mode, this LED bulb or this HID bulb does not produce any more light than it otherwise does. In low beam mode, it just lets more of it out onto the road ahead of you. All right, so the same concept applies to bi-LED projectors, which of course are the newer, more modern technology. Now, instead of an HID bulb that you can come, you know, that comes and goes, you can replace it on the back. LED projectors have a fixed LED chip inside of the reflector bowl, but the concept for creating the high beam and low beam is still the same. It has that movable shield that is moved by a solenoid inside the middle of the projector that simply moves out of the way to expose more light for your high beam. The LED chip isn't doing anything different one way or the other. So that's it guys, you are now smarter having watched this video. I'm TRS Matt and I'll see you next time.